Hey guys, I'm Zoe Carpenter, Joyco guest artist, and I'm here doing a cut and color collaboration with Matt Beck. I have my model here, Rachel, and as you guys can see, she's a natural, deeper blonde. We are leaving summer and entering the fall, but that doesn't always mean you have to go deeper. I'm actually gonna be taking her lighter using my favorite product by Joyco, Blonde Life. So we're gonna lighten and brighten her and keep a ton of dimension around her skin. As you guys can see, the beautiful pink undertone in her skin, I'm actually gonna bring that out with warmer blonder tones today. So stay tuned, we're gonna get to work. So before I start any of the highlights or dimensional work, I wanted to use one of my favorite products by Joyco that I love, and that's the Base Breaker. Seeing Rachel's natural hair color at a level six, I kind of wanted her lifted one level. Base Breaker can do that safely. It's ammonia free using 20 volume for 10 minutes. We're gonna start off by mixing two parts of 10 volume developer and one part Blonde Life Lightener. You may also mix this at equal parts. However, I prefer my lightener at a thinner consistency. In my second bowl, I'm mixing two ounces of 40 volume developer and two ounces of our XLB and LumaShine Permanent Cream. What's great about the high lifts in LumaShine is the mixing ratio is one to one. Okay, you guys, so I call this my marble technique because what I actually did was I always remain in my four quadrants. And you guys can see my first section was right on this skin in an angle and I take about three back-to-back -back slices with my Blonde Life Lightener and the 10 volume. And then in between there, I kind of marbled in just a few weaves of the XLB. And then some of the hair that was left out, as you guys can see the heavy dimension on the ends, the really, really pretty strawberry, the um, kind of lived in color. I kind of do a little pushback in between foils, not a tease to get yourself all matted up. I do a pushback and then I foil in the hair that's out of that pushback to give that dimension. And then as I come up to the front, I start in my front sections and I remain always on an angle to keep that very natural looking and it doesn't look like a highlight is spilling out from the scalp, kind of melts into there perfectly. And I did the same thing that I did in the back of the nape and behind the ear. I do about three back-to-back -back slices with the Blonde Life Lightener and then marble in my XLB throughout. And then as I get to the top, I really focus on staying on the skin throughout the whole hairline, really getting that Blonde Life Lightener in there to really make the front pop, the XLB more so off of the hairline. Here's a tip. When you're trying to achieve a warmer tone, there's no reason to ever lift hair color past the yellow phase. You always want to lock in the oranges, the yellows. When you're trying to lift to a cool tone and achieve a cool tone, that's when you want to lift out all the warmth and go past yellow into the pale yellow phase. Remember to try to get off of lifting through levels. Always lift through tone when you're trying to achieve a warm tone or a cool tone. After Rachel has processed, we took down her foils, we did a shampoo, towel dried the hair so we can open the cuticle a little bit, and I applied our new demi-liquid gloss in LumaShine, the 10NC equal parts with five volume developer. I love to gloss with that to achieve a peachy strawberry tone. It seals the cuticle, makes it super, super shiny. It's ammonia free, mixed with five volume equal parts just for eight minutes I did at the sink. And you guys can see how beautiful this turned out. And again, doing the pushback with the hair that's remaining out of the foils so you can really get that lived in heavy dimension toward the ends. 
All right, guys, so now we're going to move into the style and cut portion of the video. Uh, we're going to use the Blonde Life Brightening Veil. We're going to spray that on the hair prior to the blow dry. Um, this is a multitasking product. The thing I like about this product the most is that it's not only for UV damage and color fading, but it's also uh, a thermal protectant and it adds a ton of shine to the hair. So it's a great multi-tool product. Uh, for your styling. So this is Zach. He's doing the styling for me. Then I'm going to do a dry haircut, but I wanted to show you guys some of his technique. This isn't even something we were necessarily going to put in the video, but what I love is watching how he works. So he's a 20 year old guy. Um, he goes in, he starts styling just the, the technique that he has. Watch how he works that tension. So we're smoothing this out for the cut. Uh, but watch how he wraps the hair around the brush. So I love that. Watch how he holds the hair in his fingers, goes back and forth different ways to pull tension. And that's how you get all of that great shine and really lay that cuticle down. So I just love this technique. I think you guys will benefit a lot from those couple tips uh, and watching it. But it's just amazing how he moves that brush around. So uh, great job, Zach. Love it. And he prepped the hair perfectly for the cut. So now the cut's going to be pretty simple. What I did was I sectioned off a triangle at the very top fringe portion of the hair. So almost to the, the high point of the head down to the recession point. And then I'm going to take diagonal forward partings uh, down her head from that top of that triangle down. And I'm going to follow that pattern all the way back to the back of her head. So I'm over directing everything forward. Now, what I wanted to do was take Rachel's hair. Right now, it was very one length, very long, very heavy. So what I want to do is open up her face a little bit. Um, so the way that I'm going to open up her face is I'm going to over direct everything forward. And what that'll do is remove weight from the front, push it to the back so it opens up her face. And then I use a tease cutting technique, which is a half open, half close of the scissor. And I work that all the way down so that I get a broken line as opposed to getting a really uh, sharp uh, straight line. And that's just going to debulk the front of the hair, give it a lot more movement. And so that's why I like doing that technique. So you notice, very simple, um, the hardest part is just getting that technique down but I'm working a half close. So as the scissor comes down on the hair, it half closes, kind of pinches that hair right to the back of the blade and then starts to cut the hair. So we're not cut closing all the way. We don't want to create that much of a blunt cut. Now to get my guideline, what I did was I took a piece from the side that we just cut and then a piece from the current side we're working on and I just brought it together and I cut that little piece. Then I elevate the hair from there and I do the tease cutting technique to then start my layering. So doing the same exact thing on this side as I did on the opposite side, really working a heavy stroking pattern with that tease cutting technique. The heavier the stroking pattern that you do, the more uh, freedom, the more texture, the lighter weight the front is gonna be on the hair. So now you're gonna get a good look at the balance of those layers, how it opens up her face, the texture that we've created, the lightweight feel in the front. So now I take down that triangle, and this is the fun part, guys, because what I'm gonna do is decide. I twist it up, and then I decide where I want that length to hit. So I'm gonna go chin length because uh, Rachel was just really looking for a lot of movement, a lot of layers. She wasn't really looking for bangs. So I kept it a little bit longer, but you can see how that just opens everything up. You comb them back, uh, very beautiful uh, layered feel to the haircut. So that's pretty much it for that. Now we're gonna go in with our humidity blocker, um, but this is also a thermal protectant. So I'm gonna prep her hair with that. We're gonna do a style now. So uh, Zach went in and he did the blow dry for me to smooth it out and get it ready for the cut. Now we're gonna build a ton of volume and a ton of shape. We're also gonna add in the shaping and finishing spray by Joyco. This is a uh, kind of a medium hold, even a little less than medium. I'm gonna spray that on every section and I'm gonna use a wand iron and just wrap the hair away from the face horizontally. So I brought everything, just like the cut, I brought everything uh, towards the face. Now I wanna style it off of the face. So I basically take everything, wrap it horizontally back off of the face, clip it, pin curl clip it away. Uh, Zach's helping me out here and just wrap it up. So the reason I wanna set it in the pin curl clips, some of you guys already use this, some of you guys don't. I like using the pin curl clips because it allows the style to cool. Um, and then once it's cool and you have that, uh, the, the shaping and finishing spray in there creating that hold, once it cools off, you've, you can run your hands through it, you can really style it and mold it however you want. 
if you let it cool and it's hanging free, sometimes it pulls the whole style out of it. So just really doing a nice consistent set throughout the back horizontally, like we said, uh, wrapping everything in the same direction um, off of the face. And then that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to start to take out the pin curl clips. You'll really see those curls coming to life. You can see the shape, the S curl to it. Um, and you can really see the color starting to pop, her eyes starting to pop because of the color. And then the, the layers just bringing this whole thing to life. This is our end result. I loved collaborating with Zoe and Zach on this uh, project. Check out that before and after. Rachel was blown away. She loved seeing the changes. I hope you guys liked it as well. Uh, there you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. If you guys want to check out more videos, go to the Joy Color app. You can download it on your phone or joyco.com for more videos and tutorials.